I wish to advise the House that I have today informed the leader of my party, the Australian Labor Party, that I will be leaving the Parliament at the next election. It has been an absolute privilege and pleasure to serve as the member for Batman since the 2nd of March 1996. In fact, this is my first and last speech as a backbencher. <laughs> Creating opportunities by working with business is not the same thing as pointless class rhetoric. In essence, we need to grow the pie to share it. Yeah. I think it's fair to say that many seek to demonise the resources industry. But we should never forget that it accounts for 60 per cent of our export wealth, wealth that has meant we can take better care of our community, improve the lives of Australians and give opportunities to those who never thought that they could do things that they now do in that sector. Finally, my parents, Jack and Mary Ferguson, who were here for my swearing as a member in 1996, have now passed on. Uh, thank you for the wonderful start you gave me in life and the love and support you gave me throughout my life. To my wife, Tricia, to Benjamin and Claire, and my daughter-in-law, Megan, thank you. As I said in my first speech, life has never been easy with me due to long hours and lengthy periods away from home. I thank you, Tricia, Ben and Claire, for your encouragement and support. Without that, I would never have been part of the achievement of the Labor movement both industrially and politically, that I have spoken about today. Uh, it's been a privilege to sit and listen to him and to reflect on those times and his contribution uh, to this parliament, but to the Australian nation more broadly. So it is a very proud track record of achievement. I'm very pleased that the House as a whole had this opportunity to hear the words from the member for Batman. He will obviously go with the thanks of the Labor team. Uh, we'll make that very clear in our own way, but I'm glad that we had the opportunity now for the House to make it clear as a whole. This House has just heard a heartfelt statement from deep in the Labor tradition. It is a sad day for the Parliament, a sad day for the Labor Party and a sad day for the country that someone of the Member for Batman's stature is choosing to serve our country in a different capacity. Uh, I have in times past, uh, Madam Speaker, uh, somewhat slightingly referred to the hereditary peers of this parliament. Uh, I regret uh, on this occasion uh, that I did so then. I should not have made light of the tradition uh, which the member for Batman represents, the tradition of service to party and country which the member for Batman and his family has represented uh, for several generations. The Labor Party at its best has been a nation-building party, and the member for Batman has always hearkened to the best traditions of the Australian Labor Party. I regret, Madam Speaker, that he feels unable to stay in the parliament. I regret that he felt unable to remain in the current government. The government, his party, the parliament and our country will be the poorer for his absence. Well may we shed a tear, Madam Speaker, for things which were, which should be, but which are not. And from this side of the political trench, I salute an honourable opponent and a great Australian. Yeah.